Now we will start with greedy algorithms. The method is known as greedy method. So greedy method is used to solve optimization problems. Optimization problems means in which either you want to minimize something or maximize. For example, so these are some routers and these are links. They are two computers A and B. They want to connect to each other. So a problem can be because when we use routers and when we use links, it consumes power. So the problem can be we need to minimize the power consumption. It means we need to switch off some links, but the routers should be connected to each other. So this is problem similar to minimum spanning tree. Here we want all the routers to stay connected. Still, we want to switch off some links so that we do not consume more power. So there may be some power to send a packet from this router to this router or from this router to this router. So we want to minimize the power consumption in that way, right? So greedy method could be either minimum spanning tree. So we can also use minimum time or minimum cost. These can be different problems. E even sometimes it happens that we want to find the maximum cost, right? So the approach to solve using greedy method is a problem should be solved in stages. So as we get input, we see if that can be fit in result. Okay. So how we solve minimum finding using Kruskal? We sorted the edges in order of their weight. And then what we did, we try to add edges one by one. And if it is creating a cycle, we are not adding that edge. So that way we solve the problem in stages and we get the solution of the whole problem by solving the sub problems. So we can take an example of how a company hires, right? So a company hires based on, for example, written test, then group discussion, then series of interviews. It can be technical and then HR and then they select the best student, right? One approach could have been that you should conduct all students return test. Everyone should have a GD and everyone should have an interview. Then based on the marks, you can select a student. But the company says that we first conduct the return test. Then we select some students and reject some. Then we conduct GD and then also we will reject some student. Then there will be series of interviews and then we will select the best candidate. Now, this is a greedy approach, right? So in greedy approach, they are rejecting candidate at every stage if they are not able to clear the cutoff, right? And there could be another approach that I told you is a exhaustive search. So every student will attend a written test, every student will attend a group discussion, every student will attend the interviews and then based on the marks, they select the students. But company follows this procedure, that rejection on every stage. So this is a greedy approach because the other approach takes a, a lot of time. It consumes a lot of time. It is exhaustive searching. So they follow this greedy approach. So every problem cannot be solved using greedy approach. Which problems we can solve using greedy approach? The problem which have optimal substructure property. What is optimal substructure property? Optimal substructure property is that the optimal solution of the problem is constituted of optimal solutions of its sub problem because at every stage we are choosing greedily that right now what is the best approach right now what is the best approach right now what is the best approach so the optimal solution of that problem should be constituted of the optimal solutions of its sub problem right for example if i give you a problem that problem is divided into sub problems then there are some other sub solutions of that here we choose greedily suppose this is the best right now this is the best right now so the whole solution should also be constituted of these stages only right so we can have an example that we have already studied we have example of dijkstra's kruskal prims we have already seen and these are the problems which are solved using greedy algorithms. Now we will see some of the problems like activity selection, directional knapsack, Huffman encoding, job sequencing, etc. in greedy algorithms. So we should remember that only the problem who have whose solution or whose optimal solution is constituted of the optimal solutions of its subproblem can be solved using greedy method. Okay. Next we will see activity selection. Thank you.